Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong and this is a very special edition because finally Go Digital Live series has reached episode 50. Yes. Okay, this is I mean this achievement definitely is belongs to all of you because without you, you know, this channel can't go on. I mean, thank you so much. Okay. Today's um the the topic is very 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 interesting for me because i've been doing presentation for many years you know since university when doing assignments or final project um you know doing pitching and so on so i've been i mean stick with powerpoint for quite some time and i really love all the functionality the simplicity and stuff until recently you know yeah they are quite a few guys that actually come into the presentation program right so let's talk about it today let's go well let me double check okay now you're looking here okay perfect one moment well now we are live here and let's go okay now you're looking at my screen and this is which is better right you know powerpoint canva or google slide we with these 25 short minutes let's talk about this okay First of all, I'll give away as I promise everyone. So let's go to, you know, shorten URL so that you can track every single, you know, links that you share, or perhaps you can have your bio links that you put in your social networks and stuff, you know, in your bio description, your IG, Facebook, and so on. So yeah, please type on the enterprise version and then we get giving out free for one year. Thanks to SS88. Okay, let's start about this, which is better. Um, This is fighting, right? Okay. Um. By the way, this is my, my very personal judgment and I'm not trying to present any companies um, you know, from Microsoft, from Canva or even from Google, okay? This is intended for educational purpose and not to try to replace any independent, independent professional judgment. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, as per usual, you can actually click on this slide, okay, from, get this slide from the video description on down there and from there, each of the slide, whenever you see these legends, you can actually click and then you can get further references and so on. So let's carry on. Okay. At first, let me show you what is Canva first. Um, I will say it's an Australian graphic design platform and heavily bundled with a lot of templates. So this is why uh, Canva start with, you know, they call it easier to edit rather than easier to create. Okay, for PowerPoint last time when they actually started, even though they have so-called template, but it's very, 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 very basic. Okay, so that that is something what I remember. Then <clears throat> on the other hand, what is Google Slide? If you look at here, is I'm sure you guys can remember right because it's free and everyone, I mean almost every one of us been explored to Google Slide before, so you know what is that and. It's actually part of the free that web-based Google Docs editor suite of it offered by Google. So yeah, that is Google slide. And on the other hand, of course, last but not least, we don't forget our, you know, our, our legendary program is called Microsoft PowerPoint. And yeah, you, you know why I put this picture rather than put the uh, screenshot and stuff because, come on, you already know PowerPoint, right? I don't think I need to explain here. Okay, so let's carry on. I mean, just for laugh, you know. Uh I still can recall you know, last time when we done our presentation in school and stuff. Um we are like so excited. Yeah, finally did it. And the rest of people actually don't understand. Okay. It's probably your PowerPoint have too many information, it's overwhelmed them, or you actually they don't know what you're talking about. Okay. It, it could be either way. So yeah, let's continue. Okay, a fast fact here and uh, look at the first release then you'll know how long is Marcus point point actually this is elder than me okay now you know a little bit my age okay this is elder than me and major platform was in actually built on top pc and there's no free version of powerpoint um in terms of the program okay i understand that you can actually create microsoft account and you can assess uh, something like office.com you have not mistaken that you can actually go for the web base i understand but that is like a uh, very 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 basic okay Similarly, um, Canva and Slide, if you look at the years, uh, Google actually 10 years earlier, about yeah, seven years earlier, and both of them are focusing on web, and they also have freemium, mean, which means you can always sign up and account and use it free, and of course, you can always go for 
paid version for other advantages. So these are quick fast fact here. So pretty short, our old guy here, Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, the big guy, is try it. There's no free version. Okay, I know many of you are actually using Pirate Two version. Actually, Microsoft know as well. <laughs> okay, that's a better. So let's move on. Okay, now a, a quick. Much, uh, I mean, let's let's go further a little bit. Is in um the presentation program into sort of market share. Okay, this is something very interesting because at first I was thought that Microsoft PowerPoint stand the most, so you know, market share. But actually, Canva rise up. Okay, it's about thirty percent. And my Google slide, I'm sorry that um you know most of us are using Google Dots and Google Sheet rather than Google Slide. So this is why it's one point seven six percent. I'm sure you were wondering like where are the rest. Okay, here is like total up. Close to three um sixty sixty nine yeah about about seventy percent here uh oh, okay not not even seventy it's like sixty plus percent so where are the rest okay there are quite a numbers uh presentation program out there um you know Platzi or uh, I forgot your uh, slide share or whatever there there are quite numbers also but uh, I think more than more than fifty actually <laughs> yeah we've been wondering like there are quite lots okay you you might be not aware only so. These are the major market share, uh, in terms of the mentor price, eh, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you can click on the title and then you can access more. Okay, uh, let me double check. Oops, let me double check me. Yep, I'm here. Okay, cool. So let's carry on the next one. Well, just of a laugh again, you know. Uh, this is something we've been we've been struggling. You know, every time people actually come to PowerPoint presentation and they are reading the word by word. Yeah, please do do that. It's actually quite suffering as an audience. Okay, so let's start first. Um, you know why enterprise choose Google Slide? I will share. I would say no installation. Okay, is you can open from everywhere because it's a browser base, easier to collaborate, and it's storage less. Okay, if you actually don't know about that, and almost everything actually, is quite powerful. And then you are wondering why just one point seven percent. Is actually market penetration uh, strategy is a little bit different, and they are not they are not utilizing Google Slide as a primary program. In fact, they are they are more on focusing Google Sheet and Google Docs in their Google Suites, uh, including Gmail. Yeah, so it's different. Okay. On the other hand, why why enterprise choose Canva? So almost the same. Um, plus, uh, it's a templates, and you can create content faster. Plus, plus, plus. It's quite easy to collaborate. Okay, they managed to launch. I think this year in two thousand two, um, in terms of the workspace, kind of like, you know, try. If you were someone in design field before, I'm sure you heard about Figma. So, can we actually try to mimic us the basic tools from Figma? So yeah, let's let's look at it. Okay, let's last but not least, why Pi Enterprise choose PowerPoint? Of course, you know, there's a huge ecosystem right there. In terms of premium templates, professionals, and in is really made specifically for report presentation last time. Okay, and it's thought data compliance as per you know when you talk about OneDrive and SharePoint of business, and it's under Microsoft three sixty five suit, and reliability, stability, add ons, macro, and quite numbers. Don't remember, don't forget. Okay, PowerPoint been existing since nineteen eighty seven, so it's like thirty five years ago. So. Is it thirty five? Eighty seven until today thirty two. Is it? Uh, damn my my mathematics. Okay, you you do the math by yourself. Okay, so these are reason that um uh, all these big boys or uh, enterprise choose the programs. But if you want to know more the purpose uh, before you start deploying data and utilizing the ecosystem, I think it helps you in the long run. So let's go. You know, first of all, in terms of collaboration, if you look at this simple slide here, um, I will say Canva and Google Slide did a very good job in terms of collaboration. Okay, just focusing on collaboration. Don't, don't confuse when I actually put five star for these two guys and PowerPoint as four star doesn't mean that PowerPoint is bad. Okay, just in terms of collaboration, even even when it comes to PowerPoint for uh business, okay, um. The live update and collaboration is little bit slow, or I should say, not that smooth as per you are using in Canva and Google Slides. So you can actually try it out and take a quick look. 
Okay, so that is collaboration. So, you know, just for love again, and PowerPoint is a horrible, and then what else we can do? Yeah, last time, when, when we can't figure out things, we blame PowerPoint. Yeah, that, that was us, right? We're naive that time. You know, when when the program doesn't work, you, you blame the programmer instead, or you blame yourself, did not go and read the help, the manual, the documentation and stuff? Yeah, we, we've been at that era, so. Okay, number two is this one you must know eh? because let's say you try to produce a very long presentation slide. Canva and Google Slide have a very simple limitation, 200 slides. So imagine you try to produce something beyond 200. Yeah, I don't know why you need 200 and above, but let's say you really need that. Uh, PowerPoint is the only guy so far can support you, okay? And because it's based on your computer resources, so... If, if your PC is powerful enough, then, yeah, it's done. So just for love, again, uh, you know, we talk about computing power. So, you know, when, when you finish your presentation, you know, people are actually clapping. Yeah, so happy. Like, well, like, I'm actually talking here. When I finish, you might be actually clapping there. Okay. You don't know whether people clapping because of my presentation or simply because, yeah, finally he finished. Yeah, Jay finished. Uh, but I don't think this is, a, this is the, the reason here, right? Because no one forced you to, to watch... Uh, this go digital live series. So yeah, just for love. Okay, carry on. Number three is in terms of simplicity. Okay, for sure, Canva and Google Slide actually did a very good job in terms of simplicity. Because why? Put it this way. Everything comes with cost. Okay, comes with some price. So when we talk about simplicity, definitely we talk about less functions. Okay, to be fair, Canva and Google Slide has less functions in overall. Compared to PowerPoint, I, I know that you, you try to talk about, uh, you know, Canva have editing feature, have scheduling to social media and stuff, but um, I'm focusing on presentation features today. So in overall, based on my personal experience, um, I've been using PowerPoint for yeah, I think at least 20 years. Uh, I've been using Google Slide also since they actually released on 2006, yeah, since my UDC that time. I've been using Canva also like uh, quite quite many years ago. So I think I'm more than qualified myself to to give you this experience of sharing. Okay. By the way, let me explain one more time. Simplicity lower doesn't mean that program is not good. Let's say you've been stick with the program for quite some time. I'm sure you know you know how how, how to play around. Just when when it comes to you are a new learner or okay, imagine you are just started your your school in, in primary school and you know, stuff like that it's your first time exploring a program in terms of presentation program then yes PowerPoint might be a little bit higher learning curve um, in this way so yep so okay you're still seeing me give me one moment okay apology for the uh just now because my camera is too hot okay now let's continue here as in just for love our time you know when, when your presenter actually share with you that uh you know when they open the powerpoint and then you see the slide number is like 243 uh, 1 over 243 uh, yeah i get you i give you i experienced that before and many times so let's try try to uh, hide it or try to minimize your slide okay slide doesn't mean determine your presentation length okay you can use 10 slides but you can discuss for you know say may i say that you could discuss one hour with just 10 slides or yeah okay so about that just for love okay let's carry on functionality though, okay this is the part that i wanted to convey if you are talking about you want something very advanced in this presentation then go for PowerPoint because that is, remember I mentioned, is bad and specifically for presentation program. While Canva and Google Slide, they are not, you know, building in terms of as a presentation. Google Slide, I understand, is a slide, right? But still, I, I feel like they are actually more on a, you know, a virtual concord kind of slide rather than you're doing in a big screen kind of slide. That, that is Google Slide, okay? It's good that you do a, you know, Zoom call, uh, uh, a Google Meet, uh, and you, you do a quick five minutes, kind. Okay? Yeah, so that is one thing. And Canva functionality why is quite uh, overall in terms of presentation. Yeah, it's quite cool. That's why you look at this uh, highlight. They're, they're quite 
cool features okay that you need and is there okay so let's carry on again uh, just for laugh what if i told you the powerpoint was originally used to create presentation on transparency firm and 35 millimeter slides yeah you you can't get a joke means you're not old enough okay if you go back to 30 years back uh, this is how how last time before microsoft powerpoint being you know commonly used by the society uh, by all of us so uh, it's a bit of history you can go and google search what happened 30 years before power microsoft powerpoint how did the students and university um you know read read the slides last time okay you can take a quick look so let's carry on you know the purpose number five is branding so let's say you're trying to um present on behalf of your organizations uh, can one not really give you the full branding unless you go for the enterprise and you request a customization and stuff but you know when you share the link you still start with camera.com right slash and with some stuff then google slide also similar experience and powerpoint yes definitely they give you a full branding yes yeah especially if you send to the file that is just presentation ready means you double click and it's straight away presentation and then and because it's like uh it is like quite it's quite common that everyone have workers powerpoint installed in their pc so you know they don't really focusing on powerpoint anymore and you know once you start a presentation you can have your focus of your branding and stuff so yeah and just for another one more time you know sometimes it's quite cool nowadays if you see people actually put memes in their powerpoint installation like this guy right yeah, put meme just for laugh yeah this, this is the next trend i'm telling you okay yeah you can laugh at me right now but look at five years ten years down the road okay maybe to the 20 um year 2032 yeah when you're looking back on this video then yeah then you see whether you want to laugh or you actually kind of like accept this trend and the society okay but just for laugh so okay it's just pricing when i put two star, two star on powerpoint definitely because of um yeah you need to pay that there's no free version okay i understand there's a web version just to view and editing but very very minimal and for canva the reason i put six uh sorry five star here because um you can survive without paying it okay and google slide mm, it's okay for the free version if you go for the full suites uh, in terms of uh yeah google experience stuff definitely um you have much more controller in the organization and for enterprise okay so pricing my simple okay i would say mm, fair enough okay this is my again my personal opinion and just for love yay powerpoint presentation right uh you know last time when when i heard about people say uh, i'm going to give you a talk and what i would you know most people have this kind of mindset like yeah it's going to be very boring and yeah if if someone actually show you some slide you know for some cute cartoon at least i'm sure it will cheer you in some way because that speaker might be too boring you know to look at it and listen to the voice it might be okay i don't know okay so last but not least um seriously um you know, whenever I actually try to compare program, people always ask me, Jay, why why you never you know, give me a straight answer. Which one's better? Okay. I'm I'm saying that these excellent questions because not saying that I'm actually part of the program, part of Canva, part of Microsoft, part of Google. No, none of them actually pay me a single cent. Um, even though I'm part of the so called Canva affiliate program. But yeah, I'm just I'm just sharing the facts, including PowerPoint Google slide, okay? I'm not trying to pull down any single guy. So which one is better? My personal opinion is very simple. Number one, if you want to go for really enterprise level, we talk about let's say you try to create a deck and you try to raise a hundred million funds. Seriously, I don't think you will go for can one and Google slide, okay? Because you need the branding, you need the stability, you need it to be, uh, you know, looks professional enough in terms of presentation deck, for example. Um, but then if let's say you are not so enterprise, even though you are enterprise, least the company or what, but when, when your presentation deck is for, you know, 
for internet use, for example, then probably you can consider Google Slide or even Canva. You know, these two it might be much more easier for you to actually convey the message. For example, the DAC is just simply for internet. Okay, so that is Canva and Google Slide. And definitely uh, remember the limitation I mentioned just now, 200 slides and and the branding, when the sharing, and data compliance, all this stuff combined together so you know if you really go for enterprise usage, you know which to choose. And if you really for use it for internet use, for presentation program. Huh? By the way, guys, I'm not saying that Canva is bad. I'm not saying that Google Slide is bad. Okay, just for the sake of presentation program focus, uh, I think Microsoft PowerPoint is the best tool out there. Even though sometimes you feel like uh you just feel like you want to use Canva to create a deck because much more easier with a template you know stuff like that but yeah so that's my personal experience and opinion okay it doesn't mean that you should stick to one or perhaps you are not the enterprise usage then come on three of them it's up to you okay it's a bad experience so okay just for love again uh powerpoint you will make okay if you want to learn about how i actually create all my slides here you can always reach out to me. I'm more than happy to share with you my templates, okay? Um, in the Canva uh, uh, templates because easier, right? I remember I share. Easier to edit, easier to share. Um, it's a template ready and it's a web base. I can access anytime um, without actually download to each PC, even though it's synchronization or cloud uh, document and send. So, Okay, let's come to the final things that if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please always go to my YouTube channel. Just look for it. Okay, you can search for PowerPoint or you can click these two guys, then um you can refer to this uh these two videos. Okay, so take a quick look. I did share about why Canva is best design editing in terms of easiness. And also, you know, PowerPoint actually can do a recording for the screen. So yeah, take a quick look. Then lastly, um, just for love again, uh, you know, quite a number of people actually do create their meme using PowerPoint. Yeah, so you can even do it. Okay, that's all for today, which is better in terms of PowerPoint camera and Google Slide. I did share my personal opinion just now. Okay, the giveaway, right? Remember. So the questions is very simple. By the way, before that, I may craft the uh, complete guideline in terms of how to choose the right agency in terms of website or even your digital agency. I'm going to share with you 2023, okay? Coming soon, please stay tuned. And next topic, okay? You guys decide, you propose, you go on board and you decide which topic. And according to the results so far, most of you are actually asking for WordPress uh, web builder. So next, series episode 51 let's talk about wordpress web builder together and let's discuss about all these big guys here okay i'm sure you see these okay um again the giveaway right now right okay let's go the question is which is balance between enterprise and user friendliness refer my observation and my opinion okay from my previous one the first answer that I feel that is correct, actually, there's no correct or wrong answer. Just, you know, do your best. Join my social media, okay? I'm going to pass it out very soon. Okay, giveaway. Remember, for the first one is going to redeem it. If you are not getting the reading the, uh, uh, the giveaway, please also go to ss88.my and sign up with a free account. Actually, the free one is really did a very good job in terms of all the links. If you look at my video description, all my links are being tracked. Okay, I know how many clicks, so I know the performance and so on. So yeah, it's pretty great a bit. Okay, last but not least, please share to your friends, whoever actually like technology in terms of simplicity, they like to know a little bit uh, how to choose the stuff, you know, the trends, a uh, little bit ins and outs, you know, behind the scenes and digitalization. So yes, join me every Wednesday, 8.15 p.m. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. And... Yep, really, really thank you so much for joining me. It's really my uh, pressure to be, you know, with you guys so far. And please do me one big favor, okay? One, one big favor. Click the like for this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and put a ring or here. Put a ring so that you get notified whenever I go live or upload a new video every Sunday, perhaps. Okay, stay tuned and stay home stay safe everyone thank you so much hope to see you again next week thank you
Goodbye.